Welcome to another edition of Mox News. I'm Philip Jones. And I'm David Gardner. What's going on, man? Man, ain't nothing much. Just trying to kick it outside. I see the sun's coming back out. Starting to heat up. 60, like, it's going to be like 67 degrees today, man. And then still February. That's still crazy. February, man. So, you know, we just got to enjoy the weather while it lasts. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it just might get cold it again. It just might get cold again, all right? Yo, let's jump into some campus news. UTC business finance major Katie Wilkerson is a three-year recipient of the Mary Ellen Locker Scholarship Foundation, was featured in a broadcast by WTVC-TV News Channel 9 on Tuesday, February 20th. Reporter Calvin Snead told, told Wilkerson's story on the day of the grand opening of the Mary Ellen Locker Breast Resource Center of the Memorial Health Care System. So congratulations to Katie. Okay, let's take a look at some local news. A proposed $48 million new library for the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga is not included in Governor Phil Bredesen's 2007-2008 budget recommendation, the administration official said on Monday. The governor's budget, which detailed was presented yesterday to the General Assembly, contains more than half a billion dollars in recommended spending on building projects, maintenance, and property acquisitions. While there are some $190.2 million in higher education projects in the budget, the proposed replacement for UTC's Lumpton Library is not included. All right, also in local news, uh, Wednesday, President George W. Bush uh, arrived in Chattanooga to present Debbie Chatwick with the President's Volunteer Service Award in recognition of her 10 years as a volunteer at the Life Care Center of Missionary Ridge. The President arrived at the Chattanooga Metropolitan Airport and visited Erlanger Hospital before participating in a roundtable discussion about health care at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Here is our own, here is our very own Allison Kelly with more on the President's visit. Here on Houston Street, as you can see, the cars are blocking off the road, and a lot of roads downtown and on campus are blocked off due to a visit from our Commander-in-Chief, George W. Bush. Many came out to welcome the President. I love the President, and I believe in everything he stands for, and I think he believes in everything he stands for. He's a great man. He has convictions. He prays about his decisions, and I believe that he is the best thing for this country right now. While others were upset about the traffic inconvenience. And they took the only parking lot that's always vacant from me and I had to walk, drive all the way down this way and then walk all the way back down that way just because he's in town, so. This is Allison Cutter. All right, let's take a look at sports. The Chattanooga golf team overcame a three-stroke final round deficit and claimed the team's title with a one-stroke win over 17th-ranked Tulsa in the Rio Pinar Intercollegiate. The Mocs fired a team total of one under par 287 on the par 72, which is 6,978 yards. Also, tomorrow, the men's Mocs team will have a home game at 7 o'clock. And we need all students to come out and support them. And we're also having a cookout at 4 o'clock before the game. So the, the mocks are having, trying to get everyone to come out to the game as possible. All right, let's take, a, uh, let's take a look at the weather. Take a look at the weather. All right, on Friday, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be a high of 59 and a low of 34. On Saturday, it's going to be partly cloudy, a high of 63 and a low of 50. There's warm weather just everywhere, man. And uh, Sunday, it's going to be a chance of showers, of high of 64 and a low of 36. All right. So, again, this, this weather is just you yeah. know, fluctuating. But I'm to get up, though. Spring is almost here, all right? Make sure you check us out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Comcast Cable Channel 3, or you can always catch us on demand at moxnews.com. That's all for this edition of Mox News. I'm Philip Jones. And I'm David Gardner. Everybody enjoy the summer and go support the Mox. It's the weekend. Holla. And our uh, African-American is Haiti McDaniel. She was the first African-American to receive the Academy Award.